If you're looking to learn a real method that you've likely never heard of for making passive money every single day using faceless videos, this video is for you. What I'm gonna show you is a method that I personally discovered this summer and I started doing about two months ago with no money investment, no experience, and no use of a prior audience. And it's already grown to a $50 a day business in just that tiny time frame. If you don't believe me, we'll show you proof right here on the screen and this is the proof. I cannot honestly believe that more people don't know about this method because it's easy to do, it doesn't require a face, you don't have to have 4,000 hours of watch time or any nonsense like that to get started, and I'm just using my smartphone and built-in mic to do it. Guys, I honestly think that the people that are doing this right now are trying to keep it under wraps because it is such a good opportunity. Yes, guys, this is the real deal and it is a good one. Let's roll. So first, let me talk a little bit about how the method works because this method is actually really unique because we're not going to be leveraging YouTube, which is the biggest video platform in the world, and what most people are expecting when I start talking about faceless videos. Now, YouTube is great. It's great for getting tons and tons of views, but views are really just a means to an end. And the end is most of us trying to make money. And YouTube is just kind of the middleman in that process. And so this method, we're actually going to be cutting out the middleman and we're going to go straight to the source of the money. And instead, we're going to be leveraging Amazon, which is the biggest e-commerce store in the world. And we're actually going to be hijacking our traffic views and our income all just directly from the Amazon platform. Now I know your fingers are probably itching and you wanna start typing and telling me that this is about faceless videos and Amazon is not a video platform, but I promise you this will not disappoint. I'm not trying to trick you, I'm not trying to mislead you, this is real. So let me explain a little bit about how it works. You might remember years and years ago, Amazon launched the first affiliate platform, one of the first ones in the world actually, and that was just a big referral platform where Amazon would pay people anytime they sent them a new customer and they made money off that customer. Now, a lot of people credit that to being a major part of how Amazon was able to grow as huge as it is today. But this video is not going to be about that because a few years ago, Amazon started testing out something a little bit different. And that's called the Amazon Influencer Program. It's very similar, but different in some really key ways that I think are so much better. So after they launched this program, they also started to test letting sellers add videos to their product pages. Now, after that, they started to test letting other people like you or me upload simple products product demos and reviews and things like that that would show up on those product pages as well. So you can see here on the screen, just like this, Amazon allows regular people like me or you to make these videos and put them on the product pages. Now, most of the videos and every single one of the videos that I did to get to where I'm at and showed you in the results in the beginning are not professionally done. They're not using a face or anything like that. They're simply someone holding up a phone, taking a product like these headphones right here, and then we point them and we just talk about them a little bit. And then every once in a while, I might set it down and push a few buttons or do something like that. But the entire video is literally just one hand holding the product, one hand holding the phone and talking through everything. So these are no face videos, but I will admit these are not no hand videos. Now, hopefully you're starting to see how interesting that this could get. They started to pay people who got their videos watched and then sales happened. So if you had a video and you uploaded it and someone watched it for 30 seconds on Amazon on the product page right there, and then they decided to purchase that product, you can get paid a referral commission. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with Amazon. I didn't watch a ton of these videos, but these videos are not not crazy productions. Most of them are someone like you, someone like me with a phone, walking around their house, showing a product they just purchased for two or three minutes. They'll show things like the dimensions of the product. They'll talk about how the product works, how it feels, how it lasts. Overall, just kind of how the product experience has been for them. Now, better yet, Amazon recently took that a step further. So whereas they used to just put it on the product page, they actually started to turn their entire platform into a giant shopping social media experience. So when you start shopping for a product, you'll start to see that Amazon is actually starting to put up other recommended videos for similar products that you can watch. Now this means that not just the people that are on that specific product page and get their videos watched are making money, but Amazon can start showing your video, your little product demo, on hundreds of other pages of similar products that people might be interested in purchasing your product. And anyone that watches that video and then purchases that product or some other products after that video is watched, you end up getting paid. So I wanna take a minute to kind of examine this opportunity because it just seemed too good to be true when I first started doing it and first started hearing about it. So one, we all know how many people are buying on Amazon. It's basically everyone. And you get a chance to sell somebody who is literally sitting there on the product page about as close as they could humanly be to buying and then they literally just have to click one button after watching your video and you make money. So I really, 
really, really hope that you are seeing the potential for what I'm showing here. So we're gonna dive in and I'm actually gonna talk to you about the logistics, show you on the screen how to go about making this work for you and getting started like I did just a few months ago. So step one is to identify opportunities. Obviously there are literally millions of products for sale on Amazon and to find the ones that actually have the best shot at us making money is a little bit harder. So what we're gonna do, there's two different routes that we're gonna take here. The first one is we're just gonna look through our own orders, the, only, the things that we've purchased on Amazon and we'll find opportunities in there. Then we're actually gonna look for those of you that either don't buy very much on Amazon or don't buy anything at all on Amazon. We'll look through another way to figure out uh, the best products to do this with for you as well. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna look through my orders right here. You can see uh, this is everything I purchased in the last three months. You can do this for products up to two years old. So we've done this with products up to two years old and still done well. And you start doing this for every single product. So for example, we'll take the rug and I would do this with literally every single product. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill out this spreadsheet right here for every single product. So you can see we've got product name, product link, and then these are the other four really important things. The first one we'll look at is reviews. Now you can see right here, Amazon gives you reviews and obviously we want the things that have a ton of reviews because if it's got a lot of reviews, then there's a really good chance that it's selling a lot. And the more it's selling, the higher the chances that we can make money. Next, we'll look at reviews over the last 10 days. And the reason this is important is some products on Amazon had a huge spike. They sold a ton years ago and now they're kind of just barely trickling along and you wouldn't recognize that from just seeing the reviews. So instead you'll actually click into the reviews right there and then you'll go down to right here where it says top reviews and you'll click on most recent and what you're looking for is at least five to ten sales in the last ten days or five to ten reviews sorry so you can see here there's one two three they're getting about a sale a day um, and you can click let's see September 17th so I'd actually say about a sale every other day so this one's kind of an in-between I would say uh, this is one we'll have to think about the next thing we want to look at is this videos column right here and that's how much competition is there how many other Amazon influencers have already made a video for this so when we scroll up to here you can see it's got all the pictures and then it's got the video Amazon will show up to six videos total in there so where it said two it will show up to six so if it says six that tells you Amazon's already filled the queue for that video. Now there's a chance you can break in, but it's obviously gonna be more competitive. Versus if you look at this video, there's only two videos, which means there's a good chance if you have a halfway decent video that you're gonna show up either right here or right here, or even in the videos for this product. And so this video's column, you're gonna identify how many videos are already showing up for that product. And then the last one is videos down below. So when we go to the bottom of the product page, you'll see that they actually have videos right here as well. And then they have related videos. So you're gonna say how many videos are actually made for this product. So sometimes you'll see that they don't put the videos up top, they put them down here. And I cannot explain every single time why they do that, but you'll note that if there's three different pages of videos that are all for this product, that it's a pretty competitive product. This one only has two total videos down below. So that tells us that this is not a super competitive product. Now it's okay for those of you that aren't buying on Amazon every single day, there's another way to do this as well. All you've got to do is go up to all right here and you can see it's got best sellers and you can actually go to best sellers in each of these different categories. You can see there are dozens of categories that you can choose from and you can go up to five products in, which means you get a total of the 20 best sellers in each of these different categories. So you can do the exact same thing. You can fill out this spreadsheet right here using the best sellers right here. Now, the one difference for, for this is you'll actually have to purchase the product to do this versus if you've able to find opportunities inside of your own orders, you're not gonna have to buy the product. I also need to add one quick note here that you don't have to have purchased the product on Amazon. It could have been a gift. It could be something you bought somewhere else that's available on Amazon. So you can go through your whole house and just try to find products that are for sale on Amazon. So for example, we have a big couch patio set that we have out on our patio and it was a thousand dollars when we moved in. We didn't buy it on Amazon, but I went and I found the exact product on Amazon. And so I was able to go do a review for it still. So they don't require that you purchased it on Amazon, just that it's the actual one that you review or demo. That's the, also the one that's for sale on Amazon. And eventually you'll get a big spreadsheet full. So I've got two full spreadsheets that I filled up at this point. I'm not going to show you them because that's my research. I spent a lot of time trying to find these opportunities. So I'm I'm not gonna show it on the screen, but essentially you're gonna come up with something just like this. And you're gonna create like this Venn diagram and you're gonna find the, the one that has your best shot at making money or the few that has your best shot at making money. So you're looking for a ton of reviews, a ton of reviews in the last few days, just a few videos. I don't like it if it has zero videos. That a lot of times tells me that Amazon's not showing videos for that product for some reason. So you're going for anywhere from one to five. That's kind of your dream number, one to five. And then obviously the less videos down below, the better. We don't wanna have a ton of competition, obviously. Now at this point, you might think you need some kind of crazy 
crazy camera equipment or anything like that, but all I'm using to do this, all I'm using to get the numbers that I showed you in the beginning is my iPhone right here. So you can see I've got my iPhone right here, and then I clip it into this little, it's kind of an elastic phone holder, uh, this thing right here, and this thing kind of bends and it attaches to a countertop or whatever you want really easily. And then I'll put it up like that, and I'll just show my hands. So it really is no face videos, right? I'm just sitting here with my hands like this, and I'm just going like this and talking about the product. And then when I'm done, I upload the video. So at this point, there's literally only one thing holding you back, and that's making the videos and getting approved for the program. Now, getting approved for the program can be a little bit tricky, but that's literally the only in-between step that's stopping you. The rest of this is so, so easy, and so we'll talk about that next. So to get approved for the program, even if you're already approved for the Amazon affiliate program, you have to still get approved for the Amazon influencer program. There are different approval processes. Now, to apply for the Amazon influencer program, all you've gotta do is Google it, Amazon influencer program, and this page will show up right here. You'll click sign up, and you'll connect it to your current Amazon account, and then it's gonna give you these four options right Right here, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, or Facebook. Now what they're looking for here is that you'll have some kind of access to some audience. Now before you freak out, they say very clearly on their, on their page that they're okay with micro-influencers. Now, a micro-influencer is just someone that has a small niche audience, or the, the, basically someone that's active on social media and does have some influence. So I've seen people with less than a thousand followers get approved for this program. And so this doesn't mean you have to have a massive audience or anything like that to get approved. You just need to be active on social media. And if you have a following, it'll be way easier. You'll literally click connect and you'll be done. Otherwise, you'll actually click apply and they'll go look at your social media following that you've put there and they'll go decide if you're active enough and if people follow you enough and engage with your stuff enough that they can do this. Now, like I said, you don't have to be famous or have a big, huge audience. I'll also add that you could literally grow a TikTok account or a Facebook Reels account in a few weeks up to a thousand or two thousand followers. So please don't let this step hold you back and stop you from taking advantage of what I really believe is one of the best opportunities out there right now. You could also just reach out to someone with a smaller audience and say, hey, would you like to partner up, you get the account going, I'll be the one to make all the reviews, we can split money or find some way to do it. There's a, there's literally a dozen different ways that you can go about making this work for you. So don't let this step stop you. Like I said, they're not looking for a massive famous following, they're just looking for influence. How much influence do you have online? Now's where you get to see just how easy this really is. So next we just need to make a quick outline for the videos, something that we're gonna talk about. My outlines are typically six sentences, six lines long. And all we do for the outline is we'll make a Google Doc. I make it just a blank Google Doc like this one right here, and I'll make five or 10 outlines on that one Google Doc. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to a product, for example, this product right here, and we're gonna go to these answered questions right here, and you can see, these are what people want to know. This is what they're asking. This is what the people that are gonna watch the video are wanting to know. And trust me, if you make a video that actually shows people what they wanna know, Amazon's gonna figure it out and they're gonna put your video near the top. So you can see here, people are asking, can we switch with wireless earbuds? How do we adjust the volume? Like, can we adjust the volume? How do you activate Siri? Do the Bluetooth earbuds, are they compatible with iPhones? So you're gonna get tons of questions like this. And then you're gonna make an outline that's six, seven, eight different uh, little mini sections long, right? So I could say compatibility. So you're gonna make this little outline of the things you're gonna talk about. And these videos, for me, have done best about two minutes. So anywhere from one to three minutes, but kind of the sweet spot you're shooting for about two minutes a video. Unless you're doing some kind of major product, something that's a computer or something that's got, you know, tons of different directions and tons of different questions that could be asked and people really want an in-depth explanation. Now, if there's not enough questions, that's fine. You can do the same thing by going to these reviews and clicking and actually reading reviews and you'll see people talk about specific things. And then you can talk about those specific things as well. So if you notice a trend where five different reviewers say, hey, I noticed that the left and the right earbud don't connect together very well. You can't use a single one. Then you'll want to add that because that's something kind of important. A lot of people clearly noticed and cared about that. Now, once you've created the outline, it's just time to film. And I showed you my filming studio. You're literally going to walk into whatever your little tiny filming studio is, wherever you are, you're going to take out your phone and you're going to walk around and you're going to take that quick video of the product. For me, this is pretty much what I'm doing most of the time. I'm holding, you know, this baby monitor, for example, has actually got me quite a few sales and I'm doing this and just talking about it, pushing buttons, showing them what's going on. Now, once you get a Approved, which could be immediately, it could be a few weeks, you'll get a page that looks like this. And let me show you how easy this is. All you do is click create content. You'll click up, up, upload like this and you'll upload the video. Literally no editing or anything needed, no need to make it fun or anything like that. You're just gonna upload the video and then it's gonna ask for a thumbnail. Now, I've seen different people do different things with this. My theory is that you want the thumbnail to get more clicks and typically I get that by showing them the product in use. So if, for example, if it's an iPhone, I would do like an over the shoulder at me holding my iPhone with my fingers on it. I put my fingers in a lot of them. If it's this baby monitor, 
monitor right here, right? I kind of show my finger go like this and I kind of I try to show the product in use or at least I'm more ideally, I'm showing the product, helping them achieve what they want to achieve, if that makes sense. So using it in a way that it's actually helping them get where they want to be. Next, you just have to tag the product. So you pick the product that you actually purchased, make sure it's the exact product. There can't be a difference here. You need to tag the exact product and then you'll just add a title after you tag it and then you'll click submit. Now for the title, I actually think this is really big. You want the title to have kind of a slight curiosity hook because there's gonna be six videos that you're competing with and you want them to click and watch your video. And the best way to do that is to make them think, what is he talking about? And so that could be as simple as, I love this except for this. Only one thing I didn't like about this product. So that's something that catches them, right? Oh, what's the one thing I have to know before I buy this? Or you go the other way. This is my favorite thing about this product. So you can go a couple different directions, but you want them to think, oh, I have to know what's in that video as opposed to just review, right? Review of the baby monitor, review of the iPhone. That's not going to catch a lot of clicks. What's gonna catch clicks is them saying, something's in there that I have to know about. Now, the next part of this process is some Amazon employee is actually going to watch those. And after your first three videos, they're gonna approve you, assuming that you're following the rules. So I'll leave a link down below and you can go read up the rules on this. But assuming you're following the rules, they're gonna approve you for commissions. And once you're approved, after your first three videos have been submitted, then you're good to go and you can just start submitting videos like crazy. And you can see here, they'll give you a little dashboard that looks like this. It'll tell you kind of your last 30 days of everything and it'll give you information on each of your videos. And like I told you, my thumbnails are definitely nothing crazy, nothing special. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm getting people to watch one minute of my two minute video, 23 seconds of my two minute video. Absolutely nothing happening here that anyone couldn't do with an iPhone. Now, the way that I've worked this and the way that most of you will be able to work this is to actually do this without spending any money whatsoever. You start with what you have purchased already on Amazon or elsewhere that's available on Amazon, you do reviews for those. You start to get some commissions in and then you start to spend those commissions on new items that you're seeing through your research and you're finding all these new items, right? And then as you start to get more commissions in, you're able to buy new items and new items and you end up with this giant sweet side hustle that kind of just feeds itself in this loop and whenever you decide to pause, the money keeps coming in because your videos just hang out on those product pages. And you can see here where you go with this. I started actually doing this and making money. August 12th was my first, you know, actually getting clicked and getting uh, views and stuff like that. And you can see right here, it's just exploded already. And now we're getting $62 one day, $50 one day, $33 yesterday. But you can see just how quickly this can explode. And in a month, we've already made $600. And now we're taking that $600, buying some bigger items on Amazon. And we're gonna do the same thing. And we're gonna grow this into a $10,000 a month business, hopefully within just six months. Now there's three things that you can do from here. The first one is literally just start doing this. Go leave a comment down below because that's the tip to me for showing you what I honestly think is such a cool side hustle and I did not hold anything back. The second thing is, if you wanna learn where I learned this from, I did purchase a course. I'll leave a link to the course uh, from a guy named John who actually showed me how to do all this stuff. And then third, we'll actually leave a link. We have a little paid mastermind that we're gonna launch eventually where we'll get all the people that are doing this together and we'll kind of learn and, and teach each other and help each other figure this all out together because this is kind of a fairly new thing. So if you wanna apply to that, we'll leave a link down to that below as well. But I can honestly say you can get started right now with everything that you learned in this video, no problem. Just leave a comment down below and go start doing what we showed you. And yes, we're gonna be putting out quite a few more videos on this as we continue to learn and master this really cool opportunity. So go ahead and click subscribe and you'll get a lot more videos on this as we start figuring out how this all really works.